Volcanoes just don't emit lava, the solid phase. They emit also a lot of gas on the top of the lava and magma before eruption. It is a, a phase of the gaseous uh, matter which erupts before the, even the magma reaches the surface as lava. We can see that in our seismogram as the uh, magma rises, you can see spikes in the uh, tremor chart and you can see in the time they're rising to the surface near the surface the gaseous part of it then appears at the surface we see it here in the Sundunka craters just recently north of the Grindavik and there are these dark clouds are rising these are sulfurous gases and some other gases in them rising and being blown by the wind toward the uh, southern parts toward the Grindavik practically you could smell it in the town and at just the spike settles, you can see the gas emission is reduced. You may see some alien space you also in the sky. <laughs> anyway, and when you look at it, you see that this is during the daylight. As the day comes, you can see the earthquakes start in the morning. By the evening, they will spread toward the east side. And this is the pattern all through these uh, months we have seen there. And when you look from there, the field of the lava is not near the Grindavik. Uh, but the next eruption, it seems, will be closer to the Grindavik town. People are now asking the authorities to actually help them by building a, a wall, like what we did for the Swartzengi and Blue Lagoon, to just to protect the town, uh, if it is possible. Uh, of course, there is a possibility eruption will happen inside, but that also existed for the Swartzengi. So it may be actually a good idea to consider this as an option. In the case that this as prediction goes and the Green Dubuque is in the danger zone in the new risk assessment, it's better to have the town inside the protective wall than without it. At least you have a fighting chance in the case that, uh, you know, people can return later. Also, I must remind that this eruption is very similar to what we had in the Krefla eruptions. I will have a video about this at the end. What's happening to the Swartzengi and Grindavik is not unique. We have a historical case for this thing, and I will analyze it for you. Uh, in the November, early November, 10 and 11th November, we had a swarm of earthquakes in the area from the Blue Lagoon or Swartzengi to the uh, Thorbjorn and the Grindavik. We had a rock fall, r rocks from the cliffs falling down, and the cracks appearing in the ground that we can see now. The result of the magma pushing under the rocks and lifting the land was this rock falls. We had the evidence for it. Uh, by the GPS data, interferometry also showed us that the magma is accumulated under this area and is evolving, is gradually rising the ground. We had the extension also due to the uh, mid-Atlantic ridge being opened. The result of it was a fall in the Grindavik to the Blue Lagoon area and rise on both sides of it. It's practically a rift valley forming there. This rift valley has now gradually subsiding in the way of activity, but we have parallels to this in the Krafla volcano in the North of Ireland, in the Iceland, in the similar uh, setting when we had uplift and downfall, uplift and downfall, between each eruption, magma needs to accumulate between the big events that they don't reach the ground. We have a smaller event that gradually build up magma under the crust. And then this erupts eventually. We had nine eruption events and 15 uplifts uh, during the Krafla fires. This was famous from 1975 to 1984. And this is all related to this activity by the pooling of the earth crust, stretching it, rising the magma because of the cavity created, magma rises, depressurizes, the gas bubbles forms, creates pressure, and eventually reaches the surface. We are just at the beginning of this in the, in the Green Devic and the Sorsing and Blue Lagoon area. A lot of things have yet to happen. This is just the first stage of it. It may happen tomorrow. It may happen in several months from now. But this will eventually happen. This is the event that we have seen in Krefla. It's going to happen here again, it seems.